Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Today's news podcast is sponsored by elevatorbooks.com. From educational programs and books to unique gift ideas and more, the only website you need is elevatorbooks.com. This site offers books and materials on maintenance, safety, history, legal issues, technology, and more. Start browsing today at elevatorbooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for December 12th, 2018. In today's news, an elevator installation robot is honored by the CTBUH. A new expo will be held in Greece in May 2019. The Ontario Auditor General is blasting the TSSA in a new report and a multi-tower project is proposed in Greater Manchester, United Kingdom. Schindler's Robotics Installation System for Elevators, known as RISE, part of the Robotics Research Collaboration with the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, or CTBUH, is among the CTBUH's 2019 Award of Excellence winners, including Tall Buildings, Urban Contributions, Technologies, and Innovations, The winners now move on to compete in front of a live audience and live juries for Best in Category honors at the CTBUH Tall and Urban Innovation Conference on April 8th through 10th, 2019 in Shenzhen, China. Projects in the Best Tall Building category fall into five height thresholds, which are under 100 meters, 100 to 199 meters, 200 to 299 meters, 300 to 399 meters, and 400 meters and above. Tall buildings in Asia are the most prevalent, although all three winners in the geotechnical engineering category are in the U.S. Those are 181 Fremont Tower in San Francisco, Avalon Brooklyn Bay in New York City, and Panorama Tower in Miami. Ascend.Tech will be held at the newly renovated Mediterranean Exhibition Center in Piania, Greece, on May 10th through 12th, 2019. A new international exhibition for elevator technologies, it intends to, quote, promote dynamic and sound businesses in the lift sector, end quote. The event intends to cover all elevator, escalator, and moving walk systems and all associated components. Invitees include trade unions and associations, educational institutions, embassies, and more. Traders, manufacturing company executives, elevator installers and maintainers, contractors, engineers, architects, designers, planners, decorators, and public officials will be addressed. It is organized by T-Press, which expects, quote, intense interest on the part of the market, end quote. A new report from Ontario Auditor General Bonnie Lysick blasts the Canadian Province's Technical Standards and Safety Authority, or TSSA, for poor oversight of elevators across the province. Various news outlets, including the Toronto Star, report. Lysick's report alleges TSSA lacks consistent inspection standards and that a small number of companies dominate the market, leading to further inspection and, in turn, safety issues. Slightly more than 80% of elevators failed their TSSA inspections in 2018, the report says. TSSA told the source it takes its public safety responsibility seriously and has already established a plan, including a five-point plan posted on its website, to address the concerns. Rob Isabel, CEO of elevator consultancy KJA Consultants Incorporated, observes the report paints a picture of an impending crisis that is not accurate. The bigger problem, he says, is a labor shortage, leading to units being shut down for long periods of time. A master plan for Michigan Avenue in the Salford Quays area of Greater Manchester, United Kingdom, foresees as many as 1,500 new homes across a series of towers that could rise as high as 45 stories, Architects Journal reports. Jeffrey Bell Architects, a Manchester-based firm, submitted an outline planning application on behalf of developer Peel Land and Property and its parent company, Token House. 
The submission suggests three to six towers of 14 to 40 floors with the potential for 45 stories. The towers would include ground floor commercial topped by residential apartments, student accommodations, and co-living units. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.